Every time I upload a video, one of you asked me to do a in-depth tour of the bookshelf that is featured in most of my book videos. So today we're doing it. I was planning on waiting for a couple of more books to come and all this kind of crap, but I just decided to just show you what it looks like right now um, and also show you all the little knickknacks and stuff that I've bought for the bookshelf and also tell you where I got the bookshelf and all of that stuff. Now. Before we get into the video, a lot of this stuff I've bought in Australia, so I don't know if I'll be able to find it online and link it for you guys overseas to buy. We shall see though. Let's show off the bookshelf. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so happy with my bookshelf. I think it's really fucking pretty. And if you don't think it's pretty, we need to have a chat, hun. Something's not right up there if you don't find this bookshelf really fucking pretty. So here's the door to my filming room. I don't know. I just film my content in here and it's like the most girliest room in the entire house. So I usually sit in front of this door when filming because I just feel like this corner has really good lighting and I use natural lighting. Anyway, right next to the door, I had this little nook. I decided to put my bookshelf here. I get tons and tons of questions about where I got this bookshelf from. So I purchased this bookshelf from Fantastic Furniture, which is a furniture store here in Australia, and I paid $99 for it. It's really annoying. It's got chips because when we built this, well, my partner built it for me. He accidentally like knocked it when he moved it in to the space. Anyway, that's really annoying. I'll just get like white out or like white nail polish and paint over that. It's got four shelves and yeah, it's really nice. It's not as big as the ones from like Ikea and it's got more like architrave kind of detailing and yeah, it's, I just think it's really cute. So this is my bookshelf, bitch. So I wanted to show you guys what's on top of the bookshelf here. So I have this print that says more issues than Vogue. My best friend actually got me this print uh, like three, two Christmases ago. It was originally in like a black frame, but I ended up swapping it out for the light timber frame. And then I've just got this, which I recently got from Kmart, which is just a little spray bottle um, filled with water for my succulents and my plants in this room. Then I've got these little coasters. Um, they were originally on a side table, but I decided to put them here just because they're cute. I don't use them. Like I don't put my drinks on here, but I just think they're cute. I got them from Target. And then this candle here, I can't remember where I even got this from, but it's just white and pink and it's got like little freckles or little specks all over it. And um, I forgot the scent. It's like, I don't know, it smells kind of like cucumber. Um, so that's just burning right now for the video, to be honest. I've got these two books here. So these are from Jane Austen. The first one is Emma. Um, I bought this because of the cover, like absolutely fucking stunning. And it's a classic. I haven't read it. So um, I literally just bought it because of how it looked and I knew it would look really nice on the bookshelf. And then I also have Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice because again, it's a classic and the cover is stunning and goes really well on the bookshelf. So those two just sit up here. So that's what the top of my bookshelf looks like. All right, on the first shelf, I have got this plant here that I got from Bunnings. It's just a succulent. Hasn't died yet, thank God. And then I've just got a bunch of colourful books. And most of these are from Colleen Hoover. I am collecting her books right now. Um, there's a few of them that are missing. Uh, they're coming in the mail. But I actually have a second bookshelf in my bedroom. So they're going to go in there instead of on here. Because even though this isn't full. I like the way it looks. Um, there's just a few more books that I want to put in here and then we're done. So the first Coho book I've got is Heartbones. I've got Ugly Love. All Your Perfects, which is my favorite one I've read from her. Confess, which is another stunning cover. I haven't read this yet. Maybe Someday, which is a cult favorite. I know a lot of people love this book from her. I haven't read it yet. I've got Regretting You. I haven't read this one either. The famous... It ends with us, the absolute heartbreaker of the century. Then I've got this book from Catherine Greer called Love, Lie, Repeat. I actually haven't read this either. I bought this from a local bookstore a couple months ago because I loved the cover. And then I've got The Arrangement from Robin Harding. I've got this one here. 
called Boy Swallows Universe by Trent Dalton, I think his name is. My mother-in-law actually bought this for me for Christmas. The cover is beautiful. Um, this is an Australian author and this book won so many awards in 2019. Uh, it's got mad reviews. It's about this Dude in the 80s, he comes from like the wrong side of the wrong tracks, has a real fucked up family life and it just follows him throughout his life and uh, he falls in love and all these things happen. I haven't read it yet, but it's meant to be like a masterpiece. So now we've got the second shelf. I'm missing a couple of books. I'm waiting for a few of them to come. That's why there's like some space here. So this is the Fall of Men series by Diana Darling. I'm only missing um, Dead Men Walking, which was the most recent release. Lessons in Corruption. Welcome to the Dark Side. Good Gone Bad, which is one of the most underrated ones um, out of the whole series. After the Fall and Inked in Lies. Uh, Sweet Dandelion by Michaelia Smeltzer. And then I've got uh, all of my Jessica Hawkins books. So we've got the Cartel series here. So we've got Violent Triumphs, which is the third book. Violent Ends which is the second book and my favorite cover of all time, which is Violent Delights. And then I have all the Something in the Way series. So Something in the Way, Somebody Else's Sky, Move the Stars and also Lake and Manning. I love these books. It's the most frustrating series, such a slow burn, but the covers are beautiful. Okay, third shelf down, I've got this pot plant here. Um, this pot is from Kmart and the plant, I forgot what it's called, it's from Bunnings. It's just one of those plants that grow and like hang down um, and I just really like the colour of the green. It's like really vibrant. I've got My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. I have not read this yet. It's meant to be amazing. It's meant to be about this girl who had a relationship with her teacher when she was in high school um, and as she grows up, she kind of learns that he took advantage of her and, um, yeah, their relationship was really bad. Um, and it's kind of like, it kind of just shows like the ugly side and the real life side to like a relationship like that between like a student and a teacher. Again, I haven't read it yet, but, um, reviews are amazing. And then I have the Briar U series from L Kennedy, which I haven't read yet. Um, but I absolutely love these covers. I don't know if I'm going to like the series, but I love the covers. So I've got the dare, the play, the risk, and the chase. And then I also have um, Al Kennedy and Serena Bowen's uh, duet, Him and Us, which is a male-male romance series. So we've got him and then us. So this one's going to be really hard to show you, um, but this is the bottom shelf and these are some of my fucking favorites and my two favorite authors. So over here we've got um, Ammo Jones. I've got a few of her books as well in my bedroom, but these are the ones I've kept on the shelf here. We have her standalone here called Manic and then we've got the Elite Kings Club. Um, the next book comes out next month and I'm so excited. We've got the Silver Swan. Broken Puppet. This one that I can never pronounce, so I don't even try. Malum Part 1, which is literally one of my favorite covers of all time. Malum Part 2. And then her standalone Sicko, which is one of my favorite books I've ever read. And it's the book that made me fall in love with her as an author. And then here I've got my stack of Lucia Franco books. So we've got all of the Off Balance series, Balance, Execution, Release, Twist and Dismount. And then we've got two of her standalones. These were the two first releases from her. You'll Think of Me and also Hold On To Me. And then up the top there, I have Hush Hush, which is one of my favorite books I've ever read, and Say Yes. She just has the most stunning covers I've ever fucking seen. Like, what? So beautiful. Like, even this one. Get the fuck out, hun. Why are you stunning? Like, you and me, baby. I like what you're all about. As I said, I'll add like two more books to that and then I'm completely done with it. I don't want to touch it. I like the way it looks. And I do have a second bookshelf in my bedroom that's got a lot of books in it now. But um, I've decided, I think I've decided that I want to turn this wall that's next to where I film um, 
into a wall of shelves eventually. I'll show you what it looks like right now. Uh, it's just literally got furniture that I don't even use. So here's where I sit and film because I like sitting on the floor. Um, and then there's the bookshelf, the door to the room. And then I've got this whole wall um, that's just got some shit here at the moment. But I want to clear this out and I want to turn this entire wall into a bookshelf. Um, so that's my plan. I uh, don't know when that's going to happen. So that is it for my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you didn't then I'm sorry about it. If you did, thumbs it up. Let me know. Uh, it helps me out so much. Let me know in the comments below if you have any video suggestions or anything like that. I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.